guys welcome to my channel um today i just kind of did a basic rundown of just my everyday kind of go-to makeup look like what i'll just do if i just quickly slap some makeup on my face um and also just want to talk about my last video um the audio was pretty uh, i don't know I, I just don't understand what was happening with the audio so i get that that video was probably a bit boring to watch considering i didn't talk in it but um hopefully this video is better to watch easier to watch um but i am still learning and still trying to figure out everything obviously so i will prefer i will try and get better but um i do hope that you guys do want to see this i don't know like i'm kind of just doing this on my days off work just as an extra kind of hobby thing um also i'll only really film and upload on days that i don't work which is different every week so i can probably try and get about two videos out a week hopefully considering what my work's like but i'll try my best to keep uploading and keep posting on my makeup um instagram that i created but yeah if you guys want to see what my go-to everyday makeup look is and just keep on watching and i'll probably say this in the outro as well but do subscribe comment and like um means a lot helps me out <laughs> but yeah um or just get into the video <laughs> um so to prime my face i'm not even prepared i'm just gonna take the nivea moisturizer and it's literally my favorite moisturizer ever it's so thick and i love it and to start priming my base even further i'm going to take max fix plus and i have it in the scent rose kind of only got it just so it matches my room because it's pink and like everything in my room is kind of like pink as you can somewhat tell and i have like my sinus and my hay fever is really playing up so if i keep sniffling i do apologize but I'm just gonna spray this on my face. Honestly, the best invention in the world is Fix Plus. I love it so much. I'm um, just gonna apply my lip balm, which is just calm. And if it's professional, I'm gonna just apply it to this area here. I don't have that big of pores, but like <clears throat> in my foundation, you can always see my pores if I don't fill them in. So. I only really use this where I need it. Um, I don't really like um, silicone primers all over my face. I don't like how it feels and I don't like how it makes my makeup look. Like I just, I don't know, it just if I put it like all over my face where like my pores don't need it, like my makeup goes weird, I don't know, and it looks all like gluggy. I hate it. I normally put it on my breakouts as well, but... These are kind of more scarring than anything. And then I'm just going to take my little strobe cream sample. Just apply that all over my face. Give me some unduliness. Um. <clears throat> Lumiere. I don't know, I don't speak French. Um. I'll just apply that all over my face as well. Only a little bit. I just like to be extra glowy. I'm just going to take my MAC Studio Fluid in NC10. That doesn't tell you, but gives the absolute worst flashback because it's got like it's got SPF 15 in it, so it's not like it's that high, but oh my god. <clears throat> I don't know where I wore this to. Some party, I'm pretty sure. And, um... I literally look like the James Charles meme. Wasn't that flash. But this foundation is hella full coverage. I love it. If there was ever a foundation I'd recommend, it would be this foundation, just because... 
literally it is the best so easy to apply and like it's so full coverage but it's not hard to blend out like at all in shade nc10 so that's in pale this concealer is no joke like this is the og shape tape like honestly it is so full coverage has worse flashback though I'm just gonna blend that out with my booty blender. I'm just gonna put a bit of fix plus on it. Just so it gets like it's more easy to blend. I it's not a hard to blend concealer, but because it's so thick, like anything to make it easier to blend helps. And then I'm just gonna take the match perfection by Rimmel, this just loose powder in translucent. I'm gonna bake my under eyes. And I'm just gonna bake my under eyes. I love this powder, it's so good. Been probably my holy grail. Like, since I started using makeup, like it's literally so good. Stasia Pomade in Ash Brown and my Zoeva Brown Line Brush. And I'm gonna just put my brows on. Like zoom up. Okay. So I've already done this brow. But what I basically do is I'll take my pomade. That's so gross. I'll dip my brush in it a couple of times both sides but I'll always take the excess off so like you can see like the round of my rim of my pomade is so chat but anyways I'll take a spoolie and I'll spool out spool out whatever I'll brush out my eyebrows and then I always start from underneath and I'll go from this part of my eyebrow here down to the rim. The, the rim. Oh my god. The edge. And then I just keep filling that little area in. So basically this, the middle to the end of my eyebrow. Oh my god. That's so choppy. I'm never too worried about what it looks like because I always clean my eyebrows up. And then on the back of my hand, I will just take off excess product. So where it basically looks like that. And it has barely any product on the brush. And that's when I do the front of my eyebrow. So I'll go underneath and I'll draw a line. I don't even know if you can see anything. And then I'll just brush upwards. Just blend it up into my brow hairs and then I just kind of lightly fill in the front of my brows fully and I go back through my brows, just brush them out, just to disperse the colour a bit more. So it looks like that. And I kind of just try to blend this bit up just to get rid of any harsh lines. And then I will take any concealer that kind of matches me at the moment. I will, if I'm using, um, not this, because this foundation's so light, like, it actually matches me perfectly. I can't really use any other found, like, concealer with it other than the MAC concealer. But I would normally take the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fair Claire, and I normally use that to carve out my eyebrows. I'll probably, I can show that in another, I can do an actual separate brow tutorial if you'd like. I don't care but um I'll use this uh, by Morphe it's just a flat 
because my eyebrows are two different um kind of shapes at the front like this eyebrow comes down more than this one like this one will sit like it kind of just I don't know how to explain it but like yeah my eyebrows are just completely different shapes but at the front of the brow so I have to try my best to try and make them look even as possible so that doesn't always work I take my stay matte powder by Rimmel and just my big fluffy brush from Morphe and I just set my face kind of dusting away the bake as I go along as well set my lids I normally take the Zoeva concealer brush it's just like um a buffer kind of looking brush it's just really gets me packed and I'll just blend out any creases and then blend my um carved line whatever you want to call it in properly and then I just set my eyelid this is how I prime my eyes for like eyeshadow that brow whiz in um number five and I'll just go over my brows and set them in place kind of just brings the color back to my eyebrows. I am taking the Lam Eggnog Latte palette from the Too Faced Christmas collection from two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. And I'm going to make latte. And I'm just ducking that in my crease as a bit of a transition. Back to my Zoeva palette. I'm going to be taking this colour here and just also popping that through the crease. Just still using the Luxe Crease Brush by Zoeva. Take a bit of Freshly Toasted, which is just a brownish kind of burgundy shade. With a Luxe Soft Defined Brush from Zoeva. And I'm just going to kind of pop that in this area a little bit in the crease but yeah just trying to create a bit of definition you shade a brush which is just a flat brush and I'm gonna be taking the color beans are white which is just a dark brown I'm just going to be placing that all over the lid and just kind of blending it up into like, you'll see what I'm doing. A petite crease brush by obviously Zoeva. I'm just going to go back in to substitute for love and take that underneath my eye post it and just take that really close to my lower lash line with the luxe pencil I'm only taking like a tiny elf baked highlight in a moonlight pearls and I'm just going to be putting that under my brow False Lash Extreme, just place that on my lashes. And then I'm going to take the Wispy Lashes from Ardell. These. So that's the lashes. Parkway Princess um, contour. Um, I'm just going to take Princess Cut with just a small kind of tiny. And I'm just going to chisel my cheekbones out. And 
and I just take that also up onto my forehead only around the rim really like just the perimeter and then I just take it down the sides of my nose a fluffy angled brush with ugh. oh my god I don't even know how to hold this so I'll just hold it like that with um this shaky carrot cabral I don't know, and I only do it lightly because, like, just looks like that. It's really pretty. Um, us. Spray my face. Oh my god, my hair is actually a wreck. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take the Anastasia A23 brush. It's just their highlighting brush. Um, highlight again in moon, 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 moonlight pearls. Just like that. It's really pretty. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks to really the high points of my face look at that it reflects so nice the velvet teddy by mac i know what a throwback which just looks like that which i mean that just kind of looks like looks like that and then i'll just kind of fix my lipstick up completed look um this is just what I go to pretty much every day like if I'm going to wear makeup with eyeshadow because normally I don't always wear eyeshadow I'll always wear lashes though because I love lashes um I change the lips up a bit sometimes I'll go through go through I will either use like a velvet teddy honey love by mac or I'll use the TARDIS pro in exposed or Huda Beauty, the liquid lipstick in Wifey. I kind of just normally just get bounce between them. Just depending on like what kind of lip I want for that certain day. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like. Comment down below if you'd like to see anything. Um, and make video suggestions because I know I'll run out pretty quickly. Um... But no, I don't skate to save that comment. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.